Hi, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing an example conversion on a Generac 4000 EXL. And we'll do a propane conversion on it and then we'll show you the natural gas steps on it and uh, we'll get started on this. Okay, now our first step is we're going to go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here and get access to our gasoline carburetor. Let's go ahead and take these two off here. Pull our air cleaner and filter to the side here. All right, now what we're going to do is there is a bolt up here and then two screws here. We're going to go ahead and remove those two. And let's go ahead and get this one on. two screws out here and this holds the gasoline carb and everything on so the carb could fall too but that's no big deal we're going to be involved in that side anyway so let's go ahead and pull this off here there we go set that to the side and then we'll do our next step Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and install our slim adapter behind the air cleaner. Uh, we'll put our gasket on first, our adapter, and then their gasket, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and slide this back on the gasoline carburetor, okay? Now you have a fuel, the uh, air breather tube back here. I disconnect it from here. That way I can pull it up and get it on there before I get everything else installed. And this can be a little tough here, that's for sure. It's not very long of a hose, so. Okay, got that on there. And we'll go ahead and line up our studs. What I do is just kind of get the screwdriver on here, look at the back for the carburetor. Get that going through there. All right, got it lined up. Go ahead and do the same to here. Okay, and before I tighten that down, I'll go ahead and install this top nut up here. Gives you a little bit more room. Go ahead and lock that down. Okay. Go ahead and get our screws tightened here. Okay, we'll go ahead, and this is the part I was talking about here. Go ahead and get that back in. Okay, and install our air cleaner cover back on. And really, it's that easy. I mean, this is a very simple step. The toughest part is this tube coming back. So that is that step right there. Okay, now what we're gonna go ahead and do now is mount our regulator assembly here. We'll give you all the hardware and the bolts for that. Let's go ahead and line that up there. Get your flat washers on, lock washers, and we'll go ahead and get those put on and locked down. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten these up. This one down here. All right, got them locked down. Now we'll go ahead and bring our hose up from our adapter. Slide that on. Go ahead and get that tightened down. And then what we'll give you is a couple tie straps. Go ahead and put this around here, hold that hose up to it. it kind of keep, takes the pressure off the adapter. Let's go ahead and get those on there. And it kind of gives it looks a little cleaner to it. 
Go ahead and get those, cut your ends off. And that is that step. Now we'll go ahead and set it up to uh, run the unit. Okay, now what we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and get our propane regulator assembly hooked up. Um, you don't need no pipe dope for these here. It's a flare fitting. Let's go ahead and connect that to there. Tighten that down. Go ahead and connect your tank up here. that step there okay now what we're going to do is go ahead and get this started make sure that you have your gasoline shutoff valve off make sure you run all the fuel out of this um, and even when it runs out pull the choke so it'll you normally can get it to start again because there's a little bit of gas left run that out also so I just did all that so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on our propane Make sure our valve's on. Now on the back of this unit here, there's a manual primer button. Hit that one or two seconds uh, while you're cranking it. That'll give you a burst of fuel coming into your carburetor here. And this is your main adjustment. This is your power elbow. Uh, in is lean, out is rich. So this is a very sensitive setup here. This is most people's problems right here. Once you get that set and lock it down, you don't have to go through this again. So um, what I do is go ahead and leave her loose so I can adjust it there. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure our button switch is on. We're on run. Um, this one's got electric start, so we don't have to pull it. Uh, thank goodness, if you got a rope pull, it takes a little bit longer to do it. So uh, go ahead and hit your button. Crank. She wants to go. Hit your button again. And just, and then feather that button in the back to try to keep it running. We'll open this up a little bit. Oh, so close. Open it up a little bit more. Oh. See if I run it again. It starts to choke it out. Open it back up. Right here, she's smooth it out. That's good, right there. Go ahead and lock this down here, and you'll never have to adjust this again unless you switch over to natural gas. You might have to open it up a little bit. So when you do the natural gas, basically you're just going to remove this portion here. You won't have this, and then you'll bring your natural gas feed right to this. Now we also carry the line for that, a true three-quarter inch uh, natural gas hose with quick connects. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, uh, you can go to pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. And again, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope it helps you out a lot. Thank you and have a nice day.